Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Cookser ceramic cooktop. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like. I just took this out of the package. You can see how nice it looks. You can see all the very clearly marked buttons here on the bottom. This is everything that it came with. It comes with both the supplies to install this inside your countertop as well as just using it as a countertop option um, on top of the counter. So I do like that it has that option. You can see by the lip that it has on its side, it's set up to be able to install into your counter um, just so it would be flat with the surface of your counter, counter which I really think would be really nice. This is a countertop width. This is going to fit within a countertop size, which is nice as well. You would have to install it more this way so that you have the large burner up here and the smaller burner down here and then the controls down here at the bottom. It does have this industrial outlet on the bottom which is nice and secure so that you can use that underneath the countertop as well as on top of it. Some of the things that it comes with to install this into your countertop is the a little adhesive strip to make it so that the cooktop doesn't get damaged which is really nice and then it comes with the little pieces to install it as well it also comes with these little non-slip feet here that you can put on if you're just going to be using this on your countertop which is how i'm going to be using it so i'm going to go ahead and flip this over and install these four non-slip grips here so that we can start using it Now that we have all four of these feet installed down here, I can flip this over and it's ready to use. This has about a three foot cord just for your own reference. You can see the controls here on the bottom. We have a power button down here. We have a plus and minus for the temperature adjusting. You can lock it in whatever temperature that you have it set to. We have a keep warm setting on each of these burners. We have a timer. You can set it for 30 minutes. We have a pause button over here. One of the safety features that I really like about this is that depending on the power level, it has a default working amount of time. Obviously you can turn it back on if it does turn off um, before you're finished using it, but this does, for example, if you have it on power level one, this default working time is gonna be eight hours, but if you have it on power level nine, it's default working time is gonna be two hours, just as a safety feature, so it can just automatically turn off if you do happen to forget about it. I also do like that it is going to tell you when the surface is hot, so you know not to touch it. So this one has a 120 volt plug-in, which means you can easily use it basically anywhere. Something that I really like about this one is that it's going to be compatible with all flat bottom cookware, which is really, really nice. I know there's a lot of cooktops that only it can be used on certain cookware, so I really like that. I do like that it has this black crystal glass panel on here with this metal frosted edging on the side. It just means it's gonna be really nice and easy to clean. Let's go ahead and plug this in and test it out. Okay, I'm ready to plug this in here. I'm just gonna plug this into the outlet. I like this, it has a large burner on the top and a smaller burner on the bottom. You always wanna use the burner that matches the size of your pan or your pot. I'm just going to disperse the heat more evenly. So I feel like this one fits this bottom one a little bit better. And I'm gonna add two cups of water to this. I just wanna see about how long it takes to boil. And I'm gonna put a lid on it. Okay, so down here, I'm gonna push on. So this control panel down here is gonna be for the top burner, it shows right over here. And this panel over here is gonna be controlling the bottom one. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm gonna turn this up to high because I want this to boil. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this and see about how long it takes to come to a rolling boil. Okay, you can see the water is at a rolling boil right now that took about 10 minutes. And overall, this was really seamless. I like that this entire surface doesn't get hot, just the actual burner itself. And overall, I'm really happy with this. I like that you can push this lock option so that nobody can mess with your settings that you already have. I like the timer options. And overall, I just think this is a really nice, clean look for whatever you're gonna be using it for. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.